Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg, everybody. Uh, joining me today uh, from the Fitchburg Historical Society, it's Vern Brummel, uh, and he's here. And uh, first off, I just got to say, I love the shirt, by the way. The, <laughs> the, shirt, the shirt is good. I had to yeah. point it out. Okay, yep. I had to point it out. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vern, uh, we're going to be talking, uh, of course, railroads here uh, today and uh, kind of talking about the, the Badger Bicycle Trail that was... The Illinois Central Railroad there for you many, go. many years. And the line was... That track through Fitchburg was put in in 1887, and they intended to run trains to Madison that year, but they had uh, construction problems south of Belleville with the Stewart Tunnel. There's a tunnel that you can ride your bike through down through there, and construction there delayed operation until 1888. Oh, so in February 1888, the Fitchburg Station, which was on Went Road, um, was was open and regular passenger and freight service began from Freeport, Illinois to Madison, passing through Fitchburg, stopping at two different stations. The main station on Went Road was a two-story building where the agent lived upstairs with his family. Downstairs was the ticket office, the baggage room, the freight room, and so on. And then we also had a smaller station where the line crossed Seminole Highway, and that was known as Beanville. Really? But the railroad called it uh, Stoners. And okay. it was known as stoners to the railroad, but the farmers around there, one farmer uh, planted soybeans in his field, and the other farmer said, well, that's kind of strange you know, to them. And so they painted the, this milk station building Beanville. They actually painted Beanville on it, and that name stuck. And so Beanville became a flag stop for the passenger trains, and, and that structure lasted until 1938. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's but. pretty incredible. Uh, so let's talk about maybe uh, the peak time here then uh, for trains on the trail. Yeah, when it opened in 1888 until into the 1920s, there were two passenger trains each way. And they were pretty heavily used at the, at the beginning. And in 1908, the Illinois Central experimented by, he, they bought this uh, gas electric motor car called the McKean motor car. And it was kind of futuristic look, looking. It had a shovel nose that had portholes like from a ship. <laughs> And it looked really futuristic, like a flying saucer almost. And some of the passengers, like in Monticello and Belleville, they didn't want to get on the thing because it kind of scared them. <laughs> and it made weird, weird noises and all that. But the railroad actually ran this McKean car for two years, so 1908 to 1910. But then it had mechanical trouble, and they decided, screw it. And we'll go back to the steam locomotives and passenger cars. So in 1922, things kind of peaked around there, 22, 23. Four passenger trains and uh, four freight trains. And then shortly after that, passenger traffic dropped off quite a bit because people got cars and roads were being paved and so on. And so by the 1930s already, traffic on that line was down to one mixed train a day. And there was like a passenger car tacked down to the freight train. But that freight train continued to run well into the 70s as a daily except Sunday affair. And it hauled all kinds of merchandise. And for early days, they hauled cattle and uh, lumber and anything serving the communities. There were like 24 businesses in Madison that they served. And uh, going back to just talking briefly about Madison, that when they did have passenger service, Illinois Central had a very large passenger station on West Washington Avenue, just down the street from the still standing Milwaukee Road Station. And that was torn down in 1935 already because of the decline of passenger service. But across the street, their freight station that dates back to 1888 still stands, and U Haul has been using that for decades. Jeez. And I remember in 1976, Jimmy Carter, when he was running for president, they decided to have their campaign headquarters, their local one. They made it into Plains North, because J J Jimmy Carter is from Plains, Georgia, and his national headquarters is in the Plains, Georgia depot. So they used this one as Plains North. And so shortly after that, that's when U-Haul started to use the building, and it's still there. I, I did not know that. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. And that the Milwaukee, so where that train stands now on East or uh, West Wash, uh, that one is Milwaukee Line. That's line. the Milwaukee Road, but okay. they were adjacent, just one block apart. And even at the end, when Illinois Central was still running freight service, and they came up here, they, they went that far. The switch, the IC crews would have lunch with the Milwaukee Road crews <laughs> in the old Washington Hotel, which is gone, was right there. <laughs> well, that's too funny. That's a, so let's talk about uh, what, what types of things that were being shipped and stuff. So you kind of said cattle, you said passenger, anything else that uh, kind of was being 
thrown through that line. Yeah, what kept the line going the longest, I think, was the coal that was shipped to University of Wisconsin Heating Plant. And so they were, they were a very important customer. So that kept the line active. And it was daily train until the late 70s, and then it was declining in traffic and it went down to three times a week. And then in 1981, Illinois Central, by that time it was Illinois Central Gulf through a merger. ICG decided to abandon the line, but the line stayed in service uh, for short line railroads to operate it for another 10 years or so. The track stayed in place till the mid 90s or so, and as we know, it, it's now the Badger State Trail. And there was a lot of politics involved there, and, and it took a long time to get to what it is now, but now I think it's a really nice trail, and I'm glad they preserved the right of way. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And uh, if you have a chance, you can go again into the Fitchburg Historical Society, you can look up some of this information, but also the Went. Uh, uh, for, for the mural, the Went Road uh, That's station. That's the way it looked about 1910. That's yes. pretty incredible. I love that mural in there. So, All right, we're out of time, Vern. I really appreciate you taking the time and uh, being with us, and uh, we'll, uh, I'm sure, uh, talk to you soon uh, yet again. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be right back and wrap up the show. Let's talk to Fitchburg.